Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Leland Fly Fishing. I want to make sure and welcome you to fly tie night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up a pattern called a clink hammer. This is a purple haze version of this pattern. Purple haze is an effective fly pattern for us. So we, so is this clink hammer version as well. So with that, I'm going to introduce the fly as a pattern tied by and originated by Hans van Klinken. This is a pattern designed to fish in the surface film as an emerging insect during a dry fly hatch. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Start my thread roughly about three quarters of the way up that hook shank. And in, at this time we'll invite you to make sure you like the video leave us a comment hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notification this helps us out a lot as it helps show YouTube that we're putting out valuable content so that they show it to more people and we are able to grow and we greatly appreciate your help and support in doing that so I'm just gonna lay a nice smooth foundation with my thread here and I'm using Semperfly Classic Wax 12 aught thread because it lays nice and smooth we'll go ahead and trim that out just down the hook bend there okay for the biot I'm going to use a wild barred turkey biot by magpie in purple Moisten that up. Now I'm just going to tie that in. And secure that by it down. Now I'm just going to create a nice taper using my thread going forward and backwards. You can use a thicker thread which will help build body a little bit more. If I was doing more of a caddis type version of this, a thicker thread would definitely help me build a thicker body for the caddis as well. This can be fished as either a mayfly or a caddis emerging insect during the dry fly hatch to great success. We're just going to wrap this forward and backwards several times creating a nice seamless taper to this body. This is a size 12 moonlit competition barbless hook in an ML062. We tie this pattern in a size 12 through 16. Now that I've got my body taper done, I'm just going to half hitch that, set it off to the side. We'll grab that by it. and start wrapping. Now I'm going to use my rotary feature and I want to wrap this and create nice even spaced ribs with that turkey by it. We'll wrap that up to our tie-in point. Take our thread. Sorry about my dogs.
All right. Like Clark always says, you know you've tied a good fly when you cut your thread and it doesn't come unraveled. So we'll just secure that thread back in and we'll finish this off. For my post, I'm gonna use Semperfly's poly yarn in a cream color. I'm just gonna seat that roughly about three quarters of the way. Give it a couple good securing wraps. I can lift that up and move it if I need to. Now we'll just lock that in in the front and in the back. Now I'm just gonna stand that post up with some wraps going up the post. Always seems to take just a few wraps to get it securing up the post like you need it to. You don't want to create too much height on this either because you don't need to create too many hackle wraps going down that post at all affect how this fly looks. Just a few wraps going down the post. So I'm going to take a dark barred ginger from whiting and I'm going to secure that down and I'll show you I've got this post. I want to wrap the bright colors down. Kind of wet those down. So when I wrap this I want to have the bright side coming down so the hackle fibers are pointing upwards instead of downwards. Creates a cleaner fly. Right. Now that I've secured that down, I'm going to take some K-Pok dubbing from Semperfly in the floral purple for my thorax. The K-Pok is a natural material. It is finer than super fine dubbing and will float 30% its body weight so I like using this for the floor, thorax instead of the traditional peacock curl used on the clean camera patterns just to add a little bit of extra floatability to this pattern in that surface film. So we're just going to take that thorax. Now I'm going to take my hackle and I'm going to give it a couple wraps going down the post and I like three wraps. Now I'm going to secure that down with one overlapping turn around that hackle fiber. I'm going to take some Loctite super glue that we sell on the website with a brush applicator. I'm just going to put a small dab on my thread there. Now I'm going to finish off this fly 
working not to capture any fibers with three or four locking wraps. I'll pull that tight just to seat that thread in there. Now I'll trim that thread out. Take my post angle and cut it out. Okay, and this is going to be to your liking in the height of that post. Now I'm just going to take trim out that hackle there we go that super glue trick one I learned from Clark Uncle Cheech at Fly Fish Food and there you have a nice clink hammer purple haze it's going to fish very effective you can even trail a soft tackle behind this pattern is one of my favorites to do as well and there you go thank you for watching again we want to thank you and invite you to like the video make sure that you leave us a comment hit the subscribe button and the bell for future notifications and we look forward to seeing you again next week have a have a wonderful evening